Hey guys, I'm Sarah. Every week I come through hundreds of DIY videos preparing projects for our weekly maker show, Maker Break. Along the way, I find some good projects and some great ones. And right now, I'm gonna share them with you. This is Sarah's top five DIY bed frames. Before we get to our first one, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe. All right, let's get to it. Number five is Chris Kastner. Chris wanted to take on a bigger project and decided to make a bed frame from scratch. He knew what he wanted it to look like, so he started in SketchUp, which helped him make his material list. He purchased the lumber and got to work. He said it took him about 80 hours, even with a little bit of help, to get this project done. But dang, was it worth it! The outcome is absolutely beautiful. Not bad for a first big project, Chris. Not bad at all. Number four is Steon Hammerbold. Steon made this humongous bed that features giant finger joints on the corners. He used pine and various tools around the shop to pull this huge project together. Not only was it a lot of fun watching him build the bed, but I also appreciate how much time and effort he put into moving the camera around to bring us along every step of the process. I know exactly how painful that can be. Once all of his bed frame puzzle pieces were stained, it was time for assembly. Watching it all come together smoothly was just so gratifying. Nice job, Steon. Number three is Stone and Sons Workshop. Sean wanted to make a bed and chose to build the entire thing out of plywood. Using plywood means there's not a lot of character in the wood, so to add a little bit of spice, he used dowel rods and a fortuner bit. It was a simple addition, but really tied the whole thing together. Once he got it all assembled, he did the let's just stand on it test and it passed with flying colors. If you're looking to make an easy DIY platform bed for your home, this is a good place to start. Number two is Nathan Builds. Nathan decided to upgrade his old IKEA bed. He used the old hardware, but built the new frame from scratch. Nathan did a really good job walking us through his thought process and even included a couple mistakes he made. Apparently, he's human too. He teaches us that with a little creativity, you can fix most mistakes along the way. And look how great that turned out. Number one is George Woodshop. Jordan got a new mattress, so obviously he had to build a new bed frame, right? But this bed needed to fit the aesthetics of his own room, and his first design was just too big. But that's what makes this build fun. I really enjoyed watching him change his mind along the way. And the result was a bed that not only looked good, but fit the room it was built for. Jordan, I really like the minimalistic design with this piece. It's just so pretty. Have you seen a bed frame project that should have been on my list? I doubt it, but let's see what you got. Leave a link in the comments below and I'll be sure to go check it out. And if you like this video, the rest of my top fives are in a playlist right here. Don't forget to join Rob and me every Friday for Maker Break. I'll see you then.